Hello and welcome to What Converts. My name is Justin Hill and I am a senior CSM here at What Converts. I also have Eric Palayo, the manager of customer success, and we've created a really quick video to showcase how easy it is to install our tracking script, set up call tracking and form tracking. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, to track leads from your website in What Converts, you'll first need to implement the What Converts tracking code. The first step will be locating your tracking script inside of your What Converts dashboard. To do so, we'll first open the account and profile that you're looking to track leads for. We'll navigate to your account by selecting the dropdown that displays the name of your master account in the top left hand corner. We'll then select an account which will open the profile or profiles that you're looking to start tracking leads from. It is important that we select the correct profile because each profile has its own unique tracking code. So first we will demonstrate adding the code directly to the header of the website itself. Once you've selected the correct profile, you'll select tracking from the top menu, then select tracking code. Here you'll find the standard HTML code for your profile. You'll then copy this code and paste it into the head section of your website's editor. Each website editor has its own way of locating the head section. So if you've never added codes there in the past, you may need a developer to show you how to get there. Once the code has been applied to the head section, you'll be ready to start tracking leads from your website. The next method is adding the code via the WordPress plugin. So once you've selected the correct profile, you'll select tracking from the top menu once again and select tracking code. Over to the right-hand side, you'll see your profile ID. Now we can copy the profile ID and head over to WordPress. Inside of WordPress, you'll go to your plugins tab and add a new plugin. You'll search what converts, all one word, and you'll see our plugin. You'll then install and activate the plugin. And next you'll highlight over the settings tab with your cursor and select what converts from the dropdown. From here, you'll paste your profile ID in the field shown here. You can leave load and footer selected and then click save changes. Once that's done, you're ready to start tracking leads from your website. The third and final method is adding the what converts tracking code via Google Tag Manager. With Google Tag Manager, it's very, you'll select new tag. Under tag configuration, you'll scroll down and select custom HTML. You'll paste the code directly in the custom HTML section. We'll scroll down to triggering and select all pages. Once that's done, you can click the save button in the upper right hand corner to save those changes. You can name the tag, whatever you'd like to name it and then click save. All right, so let's move over to phone call tracking. Before we get started, we want to make sure that the tracking code has been applied to the website. So let's head over to the website itself. We'll refresh the page and check to make sure that the cookies are there. Next, we'll go to your What Converts dashboard under the tracking code tab and verify installation. Awesome. So once your What Converts tracking code has been installed on the website and landing pages that you're looking to track, you'll officially be ready to start tracking phone calls using dynamic number insertion. Hey, Justin, what is a dynamic number insertion? That is a great question. Dynamic number insertion will allow What Converts to dynamically swap the existing number on your website with one of the numbers in your dynamic number pool. Using dynamic number insertion, we'll also be able to gather more granular data such as source, medium, campaigns, and even keyword data. Uh, what about calls that live in my Google business profile? Yes, so we can also track calls outside of your website, such as Google business profiles, Google call extensions, Google local service ads, print ads, and other offline sources using static numbers. And we'll get into that in a little bit more detail as well. So let's begin adding phone numbers to your account. We'll navigate to your account by selecting the dropdown in the upper left-hand side that displays the name of your master account. 
and then we'll open the account and profile that you're looking to start tracking calls for. Once you've opened up the correct account, you can select the tracking tab. We'll go to calls and phone numbers to add a new number. Uh, you'll also be able to view and edit any existing numbers from this page, so keep that in mind as well. But let's go ahead and click the add phone number button to begin. All right, we'll use the advanced setup option so we can customize the numbers to our liking. And the first question that it's asking us here is, where will you show these new numbers? For dynamic number insertion, we'll select website. The other option seen here will be static numbers that you can manually place on your on offline marketing efforts. The next question will be, how would you like to assign the numbers to a traffic source? We'll select a new number pool. And then we'll go to one of these options that you see down here. Now, Justin, I do see a couple different options. Uh, what do you guys typically recommend? All traffic being the most popular method puts all of these different options together in one single pool. And this allows you to use one pool of numbers to track all of your website's traffic, no matter whether it's coming from organic traffic, paid traffic, referral traffic, direct traffic, you name it, just so nothing slips through the cracks. Each one of these visitors that land on your website will see a dynamic number from this pool, and our system will automatically assign a unique number from this pool to each one of your website visitors that land on your site from a different source and medium. The way that we can determine how many phone numbers is a sufficient amount for each number pool is based on the amount of daily visits your website is receiving. If you're seeing anything less than 300 daily visitors a day, uh, we suggest using a minimum of four numbers for each one of these pools. Now, Justin, why do we recommend at least four numbers? Yeah, well, this is because if you have, let's say, 50 to 300 daily website visitors, there's a chance that you may have up to four website visitors on your site at the same time, all coming from different sources. And we want each one of those website visitors to see their own unique number from the pool for correct attribution. If you don't have enough numbers in your pools, we'll still be able to track each call. However, as an example, there may be a lead that came from Google Organic, but what converts attributed that lead as a Bing organic visitor because they dialed the number that was assigned to your Bing organic traffic at that particular time. So next we'll select a country. We'll select a local option or a toll free option. We'll select an area code state pre or prefix and then select a value. Once that's done, you'll click find numbers and select any phone number from this list and click next step. From here, you'll add a destination phone number for these calls. And your destination number will be the phone number that we are forwarding these calls to once somebody dials a number in this pool. Next, we can name the tracking numbers. Now, Justin, can I change these names later if I don't like the name that I selected now? Absolutely, you can change the name of these telephone numbers and the destination phone number at any time. <clears throat> awesome, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Next, we'll go ahead and apply a swap number. Your swap number is the phone number that is currently being displayed on your website that our tracking code is looking for to dynamically swap out with one of the numbers in this pool. Our tracking code will find the swap number on each and every page on the website and swap it out everywhere that this number is being displayed. Okay. Now, Justin, what about the customers that already have my phone number saved that's on the website? Will they still be able to uh, call me? Another great, great question. Yes, so your customers will still be able to dial the number if they've saved it in the past and connect with you at any time. However, if any call that make any call that's being made to the number outside of the tracking numbers that we provide will not be tracked in your dashboard. So yes, your visitors will still be able to dial that original number, but that call will not be tracked. Awesome. Okay. Now we can click next step. And on this page, you'll see a few more features that will enhance your tracking experience. Um, the first option would be call recording. This feature comes at no additional cost to your plan, 
And by enabling this feature, we can capture recordings for all incoming calls to efficiently track and evaluate the call quality of your leads. Okay. Next, you'll see the transcription feature. This feature will automatically transcribe calls for review and analyze, you, you would be able to analyze these calls without actually you know, listening to the call recording. This does require uh, call recording to be enabled and it comes with an additional two cents per minute. Um, this feature also comes with an optional call analysis tool, which will use AI to analyze transcripts and extract insights as well as an optional PCI redaction option here as well. Uh, the PCI redaction tool will uh, redact any sensitive call data such as credit card numbers, social security numbers, and so on and so forth. Uh, next, we have the call greeting feature. And at no additional cost to your plan, we can fully customize your greeting message for your callers uh, just to let them know that the call is being recorded or simply to thank them for calling and let them know that a representative will be with them shortly. We also have a call whisper option that will play a customizable message for your recipient before the caller is connected to them. Uh, this can inform them that the call is coming from a specific source, the call is coming from a, a specific landing page, so on and so forth. So an example of that would be incoming call from your website or incoming call from Google Organic. And this option can be utilized at no additional cost to your plan as well. Last but not least, we have text message tracking. Uh, this feature will allow your tracking numbers to receive inbound text messages. By default, these text messages will not be sent to a mobile device, but they can be seen directly inside of your WhatConvert's dashboard as a new lead. And once we click finish, your phone numbers are ready to track. Awesome. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and click finish and head over to the website to make sure that the numbers are swapping. Then we'll make a test phone call to ensure your numbers are properly tracking and forwarding to their destination. Looks like that number swapped. Awesome. Did you want to go ahead and make a test call to make sure that the number is tracking inside of your dashboard as well? Let's do it. Awesome. All right, that should do it. Let's head over to the dashboard, refresh the page, and make sure that the call is tracking inside of your What Converts dashboard. Awesome. Perfect. We are all set to start tracking calls for your account. Next, we can move over to start starting to track web form submissions. Once your What Converts tracking code has been installed on the website and landing pages that you're looking to track, that will also allow us to start tracking web form submissions. Web form tracking is a very simple process here at What Converts. First, we'll need to navigate to your account, once again, by selecting the dropdown that displays the name of your master account in the top left. And then we'll open the account and profile that you're looking to start tracking forms for. Once you've opened up the correct account and profile, we'll select the tracking tab at the top of the screen, then forms and web forms. Next, we'll click add web form to begin tracking these forms. You'll notice that there's two different options for tracking your forms. The first option is our form finder. Using this method, you would simply navigate to the page on your website that hosts your forms. You can simply copy the URL for that landing page and paste it into the form finder field. From there, we'll click find forms and you'll see a list of forms that we're able to track for you. Once you select the form that you're looking to track, you'll click finish. Now that form is ready to track, simple as that. Let's go ahead and do a quick test. That sounds perfect. And it worked. Awesome. Now we are ready to track forms from your site. Now, in case the form finder does not identify your form, the second option would be the manual setup option. 
And this allows you to add your form's trackable attribute to the dashboard. So using this method, you'll need to know your form's attribute type, which would be class, ID, name, or action, and the value for that attribute type. You can usually find this by inspecting your web form on the site and locating the form tag. So the, the form tag is right below this line that we're looking at, and it has a class and it has an ID. So you can choose whether you'd like to use the class option or the ID option. You'll copy one of those options there. So let's copy the form ID, WP-Form-15. Perfect. So let's go ahead and copy your form ID. We'll head back to the What Converts dashboard. We'll select ID as the attribute type. We'll paste the type's value there. And we'll give the form a name. Okay, and once we click Finish, we'll be ready to start. Perfect, so the form ID has been added and we are ready to start tracking those forms. Hey everybody, I hope this added a little bit more clarity on how to add your tracking script via being able to track forms as well as calls. Now, of course, if you do guys have any questions after you've gone through this video, please don't hesitate to reach out to support at whatconverts.com. Thanks so much and we appreciate your business. Thank you guys. Take care.